Hi there. And uh, thank you for letting us introduce our project. I'm here to present the, the uh, Symphony project. The problem today is that when doing an Ethereum project, the work doesn't just go into writing smart contracts and the front end to interact with that backend. You have to facilitate setting up the development node, a staging node, and connecting to a production node. You have to handle the deployment of your smart contracts in each of these environments. You have to let your front end code be aware of your continuous development of smart contracts in all of these different environments. You have to handle advanced upgrade patterns of your smart contracts. You have to support multiple wallets like MetaMask and Wallet Connect and so on. And you should and need to do testing of both your smart contracts and your front ends in all of these environments. Our goal is to make this experience easier for all developers, especially new developers coming into Ethereum. You should be able to use your time on developing actual smart contracts and your front end instead of setting up tooling and connecting all the different stuff. Developers coming from Java and C Sharp are used to great statically typed libraries, and we wish to bring their expectation of this into the DAP development process so that you get statically typed contracts right in your IDE. The Web3 space has already created great tools for this to solve these different challenges that Ethers, Web3 model, type chain builder, and so on. Uh, but we need some glue kind of to just fix it out of the box. Our plugins pushes these tools one step uh, forward towards greatness by making all the smart contracts code instantly available in your IDE. As Steve Jobs would have said it, it just works. So first we need to open up the Symfony tutorial that we made and we'll start off by, by creating a new builder project. When that is done, we'll install the Symfony plugins and the dependencies. Now we generate the front end. And when that is done, I'll open up VS Code and copy and paste a smart contract called the ballot example into this project. We create the file and paste it in. And as you can see, and I can now right away use that contract with the Inmary React project, and it's completely statically typed. And this isn't in any way sped up. So you can just say ballot.factory dot deploy and I can see that I need a, a bytes list so I use ethers utils format bytes 32 to string and I'll create two proposals prop one and prop two just copy and paste this here and then I'll await my ballot dot uh, deployed to see that it's deployed and then I'll console log out that it's completed. And now we'll test this right away. Click, confirm, bam, deployed. Pretty fast. So now I'll add in a new function. I'll copy and paste in there. The writes give write to vote uh, function into the solidity con contract so i've extended it and then i say await my ballot dot give write to vote it's there right away and it helps me to fill in the correct parameters i await the transaction and i console log out the receipts and i'll go over here and i'll try it again and i'll deploy the contracts and I will run the transaction and there's the receipt.